Will the excitement never stop? Four more functional groups. Let me give you a quick overview of these four. First of all, the amine. Well, that has that nitrogen configuration on the, on the right-hand side there. And that's called ethylamine or ethylamine. That's ethyl and that's amine. And I've highlighted the functional group that is an amine. Look at an amide, very similar to amine, but it has a carbon double bond O bond called a carbonyl group. That's ethan and that's amide. And once again, I've highlighted the functional group of the amide. Esters, well, that looks nasty. And that is methyl ethanoate. That's the methyl and ethanoate is over on the right. And finally, the nitrile group. That has a cyanide on it. That's ethane nitrile. And I've highlighted the, uh, the nitrile group. Sorry on behalf of all chemistry teachers everywhere. I'm ignoring the hydrogens, but you can't because you don't have your qualification yet. That's one amino butane. On the first carbon, there's the amino group. And there are four carbons in the longest chain, the only chain, which is butane. That wasn't so bad. Now I can move the amino group to the second carbon, like this, and that would be two amino butane. Hmm, it's not so tricky. So between the number and the words, normally there's a dash. And between a number and another number, there's normally a comma. Now the IB aren't really too fussy about that. And people make mistakes all the time, as I'm sure I will. All right. Let's go back to one amino butane and see why I'm saying sorry. That's also called amino butane. That's also called butylamine. That's also called butan one amine. That's also called butanamine. And there are other names too. Which to learn? No one's really sure. So there's an ah for you. I apologize. I thought the IUPAC people sorted this out, but apparently not. Let's uh, look at the one that I think is the most common naming. Carrying on with the amines, that's ammonia. So let me pop on a methyl group there. So that's methylamine now. Or one amino methane. And now that's dimethylamine. What's that N? That N means that the methyl group I just added is on the nitrogen. Well, that's trimethylamine. Oh, no, it isn't. It's NN trimethylamine. Notice that the big N is treated like a number in terms of the commas and the dashes. So now I've got the last two methyls on the N. Confused? Let's try some more. What about this one? So it's methyl ethylamine. Don't forget that N. Oh, I put a comma. Didn't mean to do that. And the longest chain, well, that's the one that gets the amine attached to it, the word attached to it. And now I've changed the longest chain, so I have to erase it. So now that's propylamine. The propyl group is the longest chain. And that's methyl ethyl. Is it supposed to be alphabetical? Ethyl, methyl, oh, no one cares. The IB doesn't care. I don't care. That's fine as it is. But don't forget the NN and that little dash. Now, this video could be 50 minutes long because we could go through all of the different names. But let's just stick with the ones we're doing here. It seems like I'm laboring the point, but they do want you to know that that's a primary amine. And that's a secondary amine. No points for guessing that that's a tertiary amine. But I don't remember them ever asking about a quaternary amine. But maybe one day they will. If you stick an H plus up there or something, that's a quaternary amine. Let's look at the amides. That one's less nasty. So this is ethanamide. We looked at that one before. And that's the amide functional group I've highlighted there. 
Well, that must be propanamide. It's not so bad. Ooh, a cheeky methyl group. What do we call that? N-methyl propanamide. The methyl group's on the N. That's why it's N-methyl. That must be NN dimethyl propanamide. Esters. These look worse than they are. Let me draw out a simple ester. Now you have to make a cut in it, in your mind, to get the name right. Cut between the carbon and the oxygen. But make sure the oxygens are on one side. You might do it another way, but this is how I do it. No, that's wrong. Make sure the oxygens are on one side. So make that kind of cut in your mind, and then you can name it properly. So on the right-hand side, that's ethyl, and that's ethanoate. It's like ethanoic acid without the hydrogen. So it's called ethyl ethanoate. Let's try another one. So make that cut between the carbon and the oxygen, making sure oxygen's on one side. Nope, that's wrong. There, oxygen's on just one side. That looks like propyl, and that is methanoate. So it's propyl methanoate. And finally, the nitriles. So this is ethane nitrile. See the carbon nitrogen triple bond. And if I added a couple more, you'd probably call that propane nitrile, but it's butane nitrile. Everyone gets that confused, except for me. Now don't forget to include the carbon in the nitrile group in the name. That's kind of new, didn't used to be that way.